wanna move, I wanna groove, so I can lose any trace of the blues, and I don't care who's ever there, but just beware, I tear it up like a bear, I rock the club, I push and shove, and then we love, until we both get enough, I like to rule, nobody's fool, I'm a trick. What's happening? Everybody vaping. Hey, look who we have. Malachi, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing all right. How are you doing tonight? Doing great. Hey, uh, we hate Matt. So, I have you back again. We were just talking for a while that you and I have been together now for a month. That's right. For my opening. <laughs> it's great to have you. <laughs> it's great to be here. But... Uh, it's about the Vaporpalooza that's getting ready to happen next month. Yeah, we're like 32 days away. Yeah, it's getting close. August 15th and 16th. So, you know, we're, we're hitting a month away right now. Are you um, excited? And this is the second annual Vaporpalooza. I'm really excited about it. It's always a great time there. So, so what really are you looking forward to on it. doing? Like, are you going to be doing a lot of mingling? Are you are you helping organize? Or well, I'm in charge you? of the rebuild room itself. So I'll be pretty much in there the entire time, teaching people how to build coils, uh, doing some trick coils. I've got some modders coming in to help out. You know, if anyone's having trouble with their mods, they can mod it up a little bit. Cool. Um, 
yeah, aside from that, I will be having some fun. I get to sumo suit wrestle, wrestle Vapor Kurt from Freak Show. So we're oh, going to have gonna sumo suits exciting. and we're going to go at it. <laughs> You're going to go at it, eh? <laughs> we're going to go at it. And then, of course, we're also going to do the roast of Vapor hey, Joe he's... live here at, at Vapapalooza. That's going to be awesome. So he's getting a visit from China Joe, the yes. owner of Slow Tech. I can't wait to... I can't wait to see all the videos, all the pictures, and everything that's going to happen at the at Vapor Palooza. I wish I could be there. I wish you could be there, too. Um, it is being held at the Airport Hilton in Atlanta, August 15th and 16th. Uh, if you haven't booked a room, there are still a few rooms available. You can use the code VAP to get a discount. It brings it down to like $82 a night, which is really good. Heck yeah. Anything um, helps. Yep. There's over 40 vendor tables set up right now, as well as, you know, there's a vendor's pass, so vendors can walk around and pass out samples if they sign up for it. Um, we will have a 10K hey, Sapphire Blue Zen uh, Parvari Ooh. that's been donated, that's been raffled off. And, of course, this is a Wounded Warriors Project yeah. event, so for all proceeds will go to Wounded Warriors. You were talking about that earlier, and I thought that, that was really awesome. Now, how did you go about obtaining that? Did you have to talk to them and um, fill them in? On Ryan, Ryan handled most of that. Uh, he really did the leg, leg work on that and got a hold of them and let them know that we wanted to hold an event to do fundraising for them. And they signed off on it. We just got the official letter of sponsorship from them last week. So, wow. really, really happy about that. Well, that's really cool. So, are there going to be cloud contests? There is going to be cloud contests with prizes. I've got five RDAs and a couple of mods that are going to be going, going out as, as prizes. So we're going to have cloud contests, bubble contests. Oh, cool. <laughs> coil building contests. Oh. It sounds like there's going to be a lot of contests going on. You've got to have some fun. And then, of Good course, on. we will have, they were on before us, we will have the vaping militia coming in and, and doing some uh, speaking about uh, how you can be active in the community. That's cool. Are they going to do any, like, um, I know Kevin was talking about when he was traveling and doing the conventions, are you going to have something like a panel up there where they're going to, like, a meet and greet and have a question thing for the community as well to ask the baby militia? Exactly. So he'll have a time period where he goes up and he talks and answers any questions and does his panel and really looking forward to being a part of that as well. That's Cool. So how many people do you think you're going to have? Um, really, I'm hoping for thousands. But... Well, I know, but what do you think? What was last year's attendance? Uh, last year we overflowed the hotel. Awesome. And <laughs> built a few other hotels. So it was it was pretty big. I mean, you know, you're looking at 1,500 to 2,000 people. I think it's going to wow. turn out really and well. And it's, it's grown this year. Oh, yeah. Good so we've outgrown the, the big room, so now we also have an atrium where people will be able to go out and mingle and, and sit with their friends. And we also have the rebuild room. That's going to be awesome. Hey, Turtle, hey, Gotwood. We're sitting here with Malachite from the Beach Show, and he's also um, talking about Vaporpalooza that's going to be happening in Georgia. I'll post those links again. No, I will say Vapor Plus is a, a large group effort. There's about eight of us that are on the committee for that, setting it up. Um, Ryan Cook from Coast to Coast mm -hmm. and Swagger Line, he's really heading it up and he's doing a great job. Um, so mm -hmm. it's not just me, it's a bunch of us putting it together. Right. I just know you well enough that I can drag your ass in here and say, hey, get in here before you go and do your job. No, nah, you can drag me in here anytime. Go and buy a phone kill. That's right, right there. Mm. Yeah. So since you're there, got what you need? Are you going to bait bait Palooza? I'm sure Gotwood will be there. I'm, I swear, I need a private jet so that I can hit all of these meets, <laughs> all these meets, all these conventions, unlimited amount of income. Well, you know, we can't all roll like Vapor Joe. Yeah, well, that's going to be funny. I don't say that much. So, anyways, does anybody else have any questions for Malachi? 
Does anyone have any questions about Vapapalooza that maybe I can answer? And if I can't, I can get it posted up on our Facebook group. Um, um, and then get sidetracked. Hey, Ben. How are you? Anyways, how is everybody doing tonight? Since I kind of went straight into the show and straight into everything, how is everybody doing tonight? Unless we're really fucking laggy. No, I just heard it come through. <laughs> <laughs> Vaping hippie chick, good to see you. Bling bling. Hey, Vaping hippie chick, how are you? <laughs> Anyways, I know that you do have a show to do. I do, Since I gotta go prep for that momentarily. Yeah. But, you know, I just wanted to remind everyone Vaporpalooza is coming up fast. If you haven't made res room reservations and you plan on going, you might want to do that now uh, before that room block is sold out. And I look forward to meeting a lot of you guys there. I mean, we'll be having a blast. I think it will be. Like I say, you're going to have to have lots of pictures for me. Lots of videos. Do you have a photo photographer or somebody that's going to be around there snapping pictures? Uh, not just that, but it's also going to be broadcast on multiple networks. Okay, cool. So, I mean, it will be live. Cool. I will try and get in here on my night when I get home from work so that I can check out and see what's going on. All right. I'll keep you informed on, on where you can tune in. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, so, I'm going to clear out for your next um, guest to come on at some point. So, yes. I got to go get ready for a show. Okay. Y'all have a great night. Have a good night, and I'll see you after my show. <laughs> All righty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Ed. That was Malachite for everybody that did not know. He's over on the big show. And he's at the same time I am, but a little bit afterwards. He's there with a bunch of the other guys. So what is everybody vaping on tonight? What's been going on? Has everybody gotten in? I was just going to ask him, and I totally forgot. I was going to ask Malachite, how was that ice challenge he did? It is crazy, all the ice challenges... Kim did hers, I know. Willows did. I don't think I saw Vaping Hippie Chick do one. Just got your first dripper. Awesome! What kind of dripper did you get? And how is the music, guys? You will not be. Okay. That is perfectly okay with doing that. Solar Clone. I heard that that one, we carry that in our store. And... You don't hear the music. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and turn the music up some. That might help. Let me know, baby, if you take when you hear some music. Um, the Solar, I heard, was really good for flavor. And the Quasar is good for flavor and vapor. Hello? Well, I want to be able to where you can hear me or hear the guests. I want it a little bit low. Okay. Oh, that's really cool. They have that on Amazon. See, I don't know where to get all these clothes. I just know that I can go into our shop and I can get whatever I need. So, Willows, I do have your arrow tank still. It's a matter of getting it out. I'm as bad as our sister, Lisa. I never said that I want this. I suck at mail. Like I have any fucking mess. And I hope you are feeling well. I know you that you made dinner. And let me tell you, your dinner looked awesome, dude. Dude it. Hey Rhonda. Yeah, I wish you would come here and see me and you could sit here and stay with me. Though so it would be pretty boring for you to come and see me because I'm always at work. Hey, you could hang out at work with me. That would be fun, wouldn't it? No. Actually, it would. Have my daughter's sister. Actually, my sister. I call you all my sister now. Welcome back. Toxic, we really need to get you Paris' duct tape and sticky in here. Well, some were not happy with it, so whatever. Well, 
to eat what you're served. And this is not good. There's something floating in my drink. And I'm scared to drink it. Ooh. So, let's see. What have I been doing here? I've been vaping on... I'm stuck on this strawberry drizzle that I made at the shop. It's really good stuff. Ooh. Raspberry reading not so good. I think it would be a blast. Yeah, and Midge wrote me... Oh, look! I'll show you what I got. I got vape mail, but it was vape mail for my birthday. I got a UCAN from Goddess Turtle. I haven't gotten to use it yet. I need to wash it out. But I think it is so cool. Hey, Kyle! How are you? Hey, Smudge. How are you? Yeah, it is. It's nice. I just haven't figured out what juice I'm going to put in there because I think I'm going to put my strawberry drizzle that I put in there because I've been vaping that one. Oh, Kim, and you could do that. I could give you the recipe for that one. I don't know the percentage yet. I would have to check it work, but it's strawberry, it's white chocolate, and it's vanilla custard. It's really good. Why is your computer being a dick? Hey, Angel, how are you? See, I'm not, I bet it sounds good. The concept sounds good, but I can't do pomegranate. We have a pomegranate at the shop and it's, we have it mixed with something. I don't remember what it was because I don't bake it, but eh, I don't like pomegranate. And you know, as much as the um, commercials, we have, uh, there's a couple of blueberries that I've been coming up with, but they're not big sellers. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Because we have so much blueberry. You can't do custards or cheesecake. Well, that sucks ass. So all these people in the room, and nobody, there's only a few of you paying attention. So we'll go into that. You're excluded because you won. And I can give you crap all the time for free. You don't get all butt hurt. You can try my juices anyways when you come in the shop and I come up with different flavors. Hey James, how you doing? It's a long time to see. I didn't even see you in the room, I'm so sorry. I guess I could go down the list while I'm waiting. No, watch, I haven't talked to watch to see if he's going to be doing his show tonight. But Aussie, Coffee Nut. Farm, Gottwood, James, Timmy Adams, Kyle, Mac Bates, who's not in here. <laughs> you have your choice. I will post the, um, I will post in a PM right here, Angel. That coupon code is good for a free bottle of juice from Innovative Vapors. You have a choice. It's a 12 mil. So you make sure that you put 12 mil in there. You have your choice of flavors from our line, which is Bunny Farts, Creme Brulee, Fandango, Grasshopper, and Tiger's Blood. That should be all five of them. Tiger's Blood, yes. What you do is put the 12 mil into your cart and then go into your cart and you will use the discount code I just gave you in an IM. 
Yeah. The Rocket B. Where did you get Rocket B? Anyways, and we have a discount coupon, as you see up there, for 10% off on everything at Innovative Vapor. So make sure you go check out the website. We have everything. Missing something, trying to log in, strawberry white chocolate, and coffee nut, and what is it? Oh, vanilla custard. That's my strawberry juice that I make at the top. You're very welcome, Cuppy. It's one of my favorite vapes and something that I will continue to vape. So it's been like three weeks that I'm vaping this year. And I haven't been doing the bunny farts. I did the bunny farts a lot in the beginning. But then I came up with that white chocolate ad and it was really good. I'm sorry that you can't use it. Kim, it's really good. Anyways, make sure you use that and Susan, if you have any questions, you are more than welcome to ask me in our host chat. And there goes Nellie for the evening. We have a great selection of stuff on the website. It is building every day. I do so much on there. There's a couple of things I still need to get up on the website. I'm glad you like it. Is it don't you think that's a pretty blue? I wish they had it in purple. That would have been really fucking cool. I will soothe your mm -hmm. pain. As soon as you guys do, as soon as you guys get what you want in, I will usually message Brittany at night and I say, we need this and this and this. What choices do you have again? You have, your choices again are anything that has, is the word and fancy word. So bunny farts, creme brulee, fandango, grasshopper, and tiger's blood. And tiger and, and fandango, no, 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 no. Grasshopper, we're getting ready to pull Grasshopper down because uh, we had another. What happens is we only have five flavors on the website that are our store, purpose, our store stuff, and it gets so popular with what's coming in. Um, so since Grasshopper is not so popular as much as it is, mint, you know, it's got the mint in it. We, more stuff is becoming more popular. So, we're getting ready to have one up and it's called Pucker Up on the website. And I'll be putting up that here in a little bit uh, when we get our other flavoring in. And it's really good. It's more of the fruity bait. Yes, I did, women. It was a lot of work, let me tell you. Okay, coffee. Have a good night, hon. Thank you, Willows. And Kim, I appreciate you coming here tonight. I do. Because I don't see any of my sisters here for the last month and a half. Anyways, um, I was going to show the video for the ice challenge, but my ice challenge seemed to have typed taken to took took forever because I had three freaking buckets of water for it on me. It really sucked. I love you too, Kim. Which one? That's the one I was talking to you about the other day when you were in Kyle. Welcome back, Aussie. I thought I gave you a sample. We have enough, I think, still for a 5 mil sample to try it. But it's the one that I think that you... Oh, Brian. You tried it from Brian's, I think. The pucker up? I thought you did. Okay. You have tried my strawberry drizzle, though. You like that. 
And I think he liked my creme brulee. And of course, Fandango is very popular. It's a fruity flavor. And coming up, let me tell you, coming up with the names are really freaking hard to come up with, not just the name, but coming up with descriptions without giving everybody, hey, sis, I did not, uh, let me, before I get sidetracked to my sister, um, the flavors to explain them in description are very hard to describe without giving the whole entire flavor. So, it's, it's fun. It's hard. Luckily, our bookkeeper comes up with the flavors and, the, and, and how to describe them, Sheree. Anyways, sis, I want to thank you. I know you called earlier, but I was in a meeting and trying to get stuff done for the show. And I apologize that I did not get to talk to you. I figured you were still on vacation. I didn't know you came back today, it seems like. Anyways, I want to thank you for my Yukian. I appreciate it. And I will use it well for my strawberry drizzle. I appreciate it. I was sitting here, and I mean, I've seen people talking about the Yukian, and I wasn't too sure how it worked. But I see that there's a thing in there that you push, and it goes. So I gotta wash it out, and then I'm gonna put my strawberry drizzle in there. But I think it's really cool. Yes, it's so funny to see Turtle Guy and Turtle Two for you, my sister. Do you use yours, sis? Do you have a you can? By any kid? Okay. Cause he drips. Do you drip do you still drip or do you drip at all? Okay, Susan. And you use the coupon code, right? Okay, hurry back. Yeah, see, I don't like... Mom bought me a case of something, and I can't drink it. I don't like it. I like the mango flavor. Okay, well, that's good. Because that's what we were going to be doing for... That's what we did for Paris' show on the last show, but then she, uh... Nothing happened. Anyways! So, I am going to, since I'm not paying attention, I am going to grab our next guest and bring them in. If I can find, I talk to so many people, it is so hard to keep track of everybody in Facebook. While we're waiting for our next guest, oh, BB is coming back on. I'll be back. Oh, God. You and your big brother. And yet, you freaking tape it. You're allowed to drink. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And I'm sorry about your little froggy. I wonder where Paris is. It's so good to see you guys. I appreciate you coming to the show as well, all of you. Not just my sisters, but everybody. Sure, if you would like. Thanks, Tammy. I listen to different music. It's either dubstep or else covenant. I was listening to covenant earlier than that blues, but I want something upbeat and jamming and crazy and fun. Let's see, so I'm doing my monkey balls in here. And do you know, I broke my trippy tip tonight. Not good. So, Rich had given me a trippy tip over at Date Bash in April. And I broke it tonight. You got a picture of a T-bone? Nuh-uh. A sparky! He's got such big hands! Me 
and this is the dear little one that passed away. Yes, okay. I'm so sorry your froggy passed away. And then my sister. That's funny, Kim. I just read your message that you posted on Facebook. Ah, oh, funny. Again, I'm sorry that your Mr. Froggy died. Me cake. And now we've got the cat to talk to us. Yay! Okay, well, since we're waiting for our next guest, and I don't know if you totally forgot or not, so I will go ahead and put this in. The Windy City Vapor Club is having a meet that's getting ready to come up. Obviously, you can check the vape meets. If not, if you can't go in there, then don't worry about it. It's on vapenetworking.com. And they're going to have a bait meet on July 19th for their birthday bash. Windy City Vapors Club 4th birthday bash. Four years. Good grief. At Pops Pizza and Sports Bar. So if you are in Illinois, go ahead and join them. So it seems like I'm going to... I miss going to meet. I know, so who will I? But hopefully Bria will be back soon. So Kyle, what are you vaping on? What is everybody vaping on tonight? Nobody's the answer. And what devices are you using? Okay, we will be moving on to... It's wonderful that you got to work on the fly. Welcome back, Uppy. Nice, pal. See, like my cream. Come to the Is that your all day bait right now? You know what, vampire? You can have all the fucking roaches you want here at this house. I keep the back door open for the cat at night so he can go out onto the screen porch. And I swear to God, that's where they're coming from, is from outside. One was a flying, flew through the house last night and landed somewhere near the fireplace, so I ended up killing him with John's shoes because I keep John's slippers out still. So I went and switched that one, got the vacuum cleaner, sucked his ass up, and then I go into the bedroom, and then there's one crawling up the freaking curtains in the bedroom. I'm screaming bloody hell. And the other night, there was one, and I'm sitting here, and the cat's chasing something, and I'm like, what the hell is that? And I was in a hangout with Malachite. And I go, and I, so I go get the vacuum cleaner, of course, and I look around to see what it was with the vacuum cleaner trying to get it, and all of a sudden, I let out this blood, screeching, 
scream. I was so scared to death. He just laughed his fucking ass off. Oh, cool, cool. You know, I don't know where my winder is, but I was keeping it simple too. But I just got to I'm not getting enough nicotine, I noticed, in my Aspire things. So that's why I have this. But of course, Butterscotch Hammer. That's in my Finiac tank here. And then of course I drip my strawberry drizzle. I wish I could go down to six or zero. I've been vaping about a three nick for dripping, but now I need more nicotine, so I'm back up to about six. And later, John Levine will be joining us from the Wisconsin Vapors. So how long has everybody been vaping? We had a snake in the shop the other night. It was really fucking cool. Because I love snakes. She had a ball python. And my ex-husband... He had a ball python, he had a regular, um, a what was it, midge that he had? Uh, not the ball python, oh, he had a boa. Then we had piranhas, and we had an Oscar and another thing. Four years. Woo! Lord. Hey, Paris, how are you? Welcome. Has anybody gotten to try the apple pie besides me? Love you, Paris. Long time, no see. Maybe I'll get to see you guys at the meeting. Three and a half years. Good lord! I feel like a baby! Uh, Welcome yeah, to today's tutorial on dubstep production. A tutorial on dubstep. A tempo of 140 beats per minute is selected. First, we begin with a simple... One year, June 6th. Like so. Awesome to you, me. Okay, now I have a question for you guys Next, that say that you were talking about, you know, how long you've been vaping. Have you guys that are so as, so much farther, like four sure years, Kyle, do you guys still ever get that craving? Why not try adding hey, Cajun. How are you, Jake? Perhaps some sound effects or pads. You did and not. Ten years? You've been vaping for ten years, Raven? The drop. So you do still get that craving. You know, I can smell it when I'm driving in a car and I smell that shit and it's like so bad. But then there's that occasion that you just, I look over at a cigarette and it, it, I think I'm still missing this part. But I don't know if I am or not. Hey, Deadly. Two years on September 13th, and every once in a while I smell it and I want to. So it's not me. I thought it was just something. They didn't December. December 51, 2011. Wow, Caden. <laughs> Another 51 days a year. <laughs> I know, I see my. I hate the smell of it, but I'm still craving that what if. Hey, Shorty. I bet you did, Raven. You see, and I don't, I don't crave them on days where there's bad shit that's happening. That's when I want to go to a Nick team that strong. By the way. Willows, are you still on 36 Nicotine yourself? And taking them by surprise. You did? I said, D, are you still vaping at 36 Nicotine, Willows? See, I'm scared to. I am so scared to try a cigarette because I'm afraid that I'm going to end up puking because I hear that's what other fucking people do. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Right, Cajun. You're funny. I just read your message, Jake. I don't think you would be doing that there. You would be doing something else, Cajun. Oh, you're between 12 and 18 now? Wow, I didn't realize that. That's really good, Kim. Okay, so put a one in the room if you have done your, if you have been called out or you have done your challenge, your ice challenge. I know you do have. I don't think I've seen yours, Susan. I saw your Susan. Parents, I haven't seen yours. Oh yeah, I know what you're doing here. I would love to see Paris get ice challenged with the water. Yeah, I know you have, Uppy. That was funny. You still have yours to do. I do know that the steam is yours too. It's all Jake's. That was funny. I love it. And I don't know. You know, there's so many people that have talked about this or that, this or that. I don't fucking care and I don't listen to all the negativity in there. I just get the biggest fucking kick out of smiles. I think it is a good. And I know that it's for a good cause. And that's why I donated what I could. But it is still so cool to see the, the fun part of it. And... The way I look at it is, look at all the people in the community that I know that doing something, this is a vapor community. We're doing something to help. And I know we don't, we could do anything anytime to help. But whoever thought of this, I think it was awesome that they did. And that has passed through the vaping community and has made it fun or tried to make it as fun as possible, as well as the real meeting is trying to help our charities. Yeah, I bet. No bueno. And I understand that. And that is fine. And that's why I could care less if people can or can't do one, the other, both. That's fine. I don't care. Because really, it's just, and I don't want people to feel bad though either. Plain and simple. That's funny. Exactly. Exactly. I totally agree. Both Cajun and Willow. Yeah, I was doing that earlier, Katie. I was dancing back here earlier, just dancing around. I swear, I broke a hip. I haven't heard that, and I'm not going to. I'm going to stick with one one charity, and I'll leave it at that. Yeah, I think so, too, Aussie. Yeah. However you did it, I just know mine really fucking sucked. That was just so cold. And you know, I was sitting there afterwards the next day, well, the next day that I worked, uh, Thursday. And I show it on the show, um, I'll turn the TV on to the video when some of our regular customers come in and they've missed it or whatnot. And I just, I replay it and every time I, I look at how dramatic I got, and the <gasps> it's crazy and freaking out, but you can't help it when it's that cold because they sat the water and they poured the ice in and they let it like stir and turn this slurry shit. It was so fucking cold. And I thought for a while I was going to go outside and get warm because it was like 105 that day. So I was going to go outside, get warm, and then I put it on and I feel good. I'm so glad I did it and I was already cold. Yeah, that hot sauce. Yeah, we'll pass on that one. 
because I eat enough hot sauce that I don't think it would cause a problem. Okay, well, Cajun just keeps writing away to me. People are not showing up tonight after I had just reminded every single one of them. So, and the next one is not supposed to be due until 8, so, which is actually 9 o'clock, so in 15 minutes. So we'll just stick, or, stick around here hang out and bullshit for a little bit. Ice cream. Who's, what's everybody's favorite ice cream? What's mine? Butter pecan, I think. I did not say no eating was important. I'm saying we were gonna have some else at a ball ice cream. Duh! <laughs> oh my god, you're killing me, Kim. Chocolate and mint. Really? That many people like chocolate and mint? Ugh! Pineapple, vanilla. Ugh, I didn't think I'll pass on that one. You like mint chocolate chip too? A butt pecan? A butt pecan also? That sounds real good, Kyle. I'll give you shit when you come into the shop. Ooh. Never had that one. See, I don't mind German chocolate cake. Just don't give me fucking coconut. <laughs> no butts pecans. <laughs> that is too funny. Butter Ooh, pralines and cream. Oh my god, have any of you guys seen these? I wish I could go in the fridge and just reach it. Farm something. Started making these things. They're like about this small. And they have this dough on the outside. And then they have the apple pie filling in the middle. You blend that with, take a bite of those. And you heat them up. It's like an apple pie, but it's a little bite. Oh my god, they're so fucking good. And you take a bite of those and put some butter pecan in your mouth and oh, Yeah, I could live on that shit forever. I've never heard Yarnells and I've never had black walnut. See, it, up in Ohio we had the um what was it? Edies. Down here it's dryers. It's so confusing and I don't know why. They change them from east coast to south. I don't know what the west coast has. I don't know, there's some other ice creams I really like. We have a Ben and Jerry's down here that we go into the shop sometimes, but I get a whole bunch of different kinds. Oh, now y'all making me fucking hungry. You're right, and a cherry on top. I think caramel. Give me anything with caramel in it. They have a Briar's ice cream that's really good that just came out. It's gelato, but it's a different gelato than most Italian ice cream gelato. But it is so creamy. It's so good. I say Arkansas, not Arkansas. Right up there, right up there. Because see, where would art and salt be? It'd be straight up for me. For you, Kim, it'd be kind of like down there. Ah! Possum ice cream. What the fuck? That's Kentucky. Kentucky's the one that eats all the mobile. So, Missy, when is the wedding? I saw you in case. One of you guys were talking about it the other day. So when is the wedding? 
Possum. The Roadkill. May 9th, 2015. Oh lord. Not much longer. See, so if you had a baby now, you'd have the baby born by then. Ah. Okay. No, you can kill them. Okay, so I want to know. Cajun, are you, hey, scholar, are you going to bash next year? Yeah, I know. I was giving you shit. That would be cool. Somebody needs to do a get married at bash. And it ain't going to be me. No more for me. Hey, out back, black check. Okay, well, hopefully, we'll see you there. <laughs> you think so? That would be funny, Cajun. Goodbye. Okay, well, um, let me see. You know, I'm going to start double booking people to come on the show. That way, if someone can't come, then I can move right on. Sorry guys. You need an agent? Yes, I do. Would you like to be at Steamy? Because let me tell you, trying to get everybody set up for the shows is a lot of work and then all of a sudden when they don't show up that kind of sucks ass but trying to get in the vape meets there's like let me look at this the vape meets is crazy this coming week because today is Birmingham vapors the Casa Grande vapors East Valley vapors VIP West Side meet and then vape meet in Tennessee there's also I see your message Jake. Hold on. And then on Friday, the 18th, we have in Central Texas Vapors, and then in uh, Virginia is the Vape Hampton Roads. Then on the 19th, the 19th is crazy, we have the Windy City Vapors Club, Alchemist Vape Shop, uh, Houston Vape, or Houston, Hoosier Vapors, Shady Side Vapors, Tarot Labs, Fountain City Vapors Club, the Garden State Vapors Club, Vortex Vapor, Central Ohio Vapors, Alpha and Omega Juice Party, which we're going to be bringing them in on the show. Then we have the Alpha, oh, I just said that. Then we have the Vapapalooza in Wisconsin, and I'm going to be bringing them in. I'm going to bring John in. And then we have the Utah Vapors Association. That is just on the 19th. On the 20th, we have Arizona vaping in Phoenix Central. Then there's going to be Massachusetts New England vapors, and I will bring bringing Uppy to come in and talk about that. Then we have New Jersey. There is a Vape the Nation festival that's going on. Then we have the in Pennsylvania. There's going to be the Steel City Vapors Club, and in Tennessee is the Smoky Mountain Vapors. <gasps> yeah, there's a lot that is getting ready to happen so make sure that you guys check baitnetworking.com so that you guys can see all of the meets that are getting ready to happen it is amazing yes it is Jake always on Sunday
I mean, if you see me during the week, like when I was doing Marcy, I was doing a fill-in show for Marcy. Because she's trying to get the uh, expo up in Michigan going on. I think she was on there this week. Yes, there is. There is one coming in Pittsburgh. Hey, Skulls! I love this song. Every time I think of this song, I think of Vigna. I don't want to blare it. I'd probably hurt your guys' ears. So how are you, Skulls? We have talked about ice cream tonight. We've talked about what you're vaping. sale. I would have to look for that one, but I can't get enough of this one. I jam this one in the mornings. Oh, we've also discussed how long everybody has been baking. And I'm not too sure if Watch is going to be on the show tonight. So you guys are going to have to stick around and see. I think I know the song you're talking about, Tammy. Is that the one, though, with the girl that plays the violin? You've been vaping for about 20 minutes now? That's it? You know, when we do shows... I don't know, Stevie, have you ever had issues where you're sitting there vaping and you're doing your show? And you need a higher nicotine when you're doing that? Yeah, yeah, sure you are. Let me look at this, Jake. Oh, they were talking about this! I was watching it the other night! Or, I actually watched the replay of Mod Envy today. Um, I played it while I was doing some background work here. Getting more vape meets into the calendar. I've gotten all the meets in up until December that people have sent into the store, or sent into the store, have sent into me on vape networking. And uh, I saw them talk about that vaping condom. And somebody, had, uh, Joe, had even said, he's like, I wonder if it has a, a flavor or something. And it says right on there, it's bake. It says, oh, lubricant, lubricated with bacon lube. What is bacon lube? And then I heard her also say that it was, uh, what was it, uh, lard. Vaping condom. No, it's not a vaping condom. I'm gonna post it, Jake. It's the naughty bacon. It, it's a baking condom. I like my K er, I like my cage. <laughs> I like my Tiana. I've got two VMOs. I had to buy two VMOs yesterday or the day before at work because my VMOs have taken a shit. The VMOs be the VMO V2 from Wim Wham Vapes. So I went ahead and got two from work. And they're the fi version five, but at least I can still use my Kinyak tank. And it's always awesome that I can pick them up at the shop. Ah. Best part about working at the vape shop, if I need something, I can have it. Not good, Cam. Hurry back, Ginger! Yeah, did yours do? Did yours do a light show, Cam? Mine sure did. Mine did this weird light show. Every time I push it, I'd hit it, and then all of a sudden it would die. And it did this weird light show on it. So, did you decide to to tape it? Well, Marvel meet at that. Oh, that sounds so wrong, Stevie. Shutting itself off by the time. Oh, 
Uh, mine was doing that too, Kim. Finally, uh, what I did, Kim, is I ended up taking, you know, my Finiac glass tank off of it. <laughs> Start beating the shit out of it. Hey, Ivy. 510. And it just didn't work. I could not get the fucking thing to work, even if I beat it. And usually they say beat it to death, and it should start working again. And it just did it. It just continued to make that weird light show flickering on and off. I was like, forget it, I'm done. My original one does that too. Okay. Okay, Kyle. I'll see you in the shop. Have a good night, hun. Yeah, and I need to. I'm gonna. I gotta clear clean up my aspire tank too for Lisa. I'm gonna give her my aspire tank, and then um, this demo does work. I guess I should, could use this one. It's kind of like a backup because some the threading on it is cross threaded, so I can only fit so many things on it, and I'm scared to try some of this other shit that's in a bottle because they've been sitting in these aspire tanks for quite a while. They're probably not good. Nor do the tanks screw on. Yeah, they don't. It's really peculiar on what works and what doesn't work on here. Ah. The Aspire does, but it looks kind of dorky, and it's kind of crooked. Oh, you did? Yeah, it's a real popular seller at the shop, Kim. I don't even know if this BMO works. And you know, I need to get more J-Wraps. Alone would be like, what the hell? At least it lights up. Oh. Ah, Original Sin by Jason Susan. See, I can't do my gay fun. Which Lisa would probably kill me. And I do need to get another drip tip from Angel. Raw, uh, from Angel Sellers. Rhonda Sellers. See, that just doesn't taste right. What I need to do is just clean out all my things. One day I will have- Hey, Baby Holly! I just need to do a day where I just take the time and clean out all my things and get all my shit together. Really? Point nine, not bad. Uh, get that working. What kind of coils are you building? Do you know this? And hello, Vapor Dan. And I don't even know what the ohms is on my K fun. Round was ear freaking door ear as bad as Kim. You oh this song I love this song. Micro coils okay. So all you gotta do though is heat it up and then you can go ahead and you can uh, you should be able to just pinch it, pinch it with the uh, what is that a fire needle nose. See what my K fun is running. 1.4, so that should be good on the demo. Yeah. 
Okay, this is sale. I agree. This is a really good song. Mm. You need something besides that octopus. Sis. Oh, somebody is messaging me. Okay, so guess who we're gonna bring in? Uh, I'm gonna see if I can bring these guys in now. Okay. See, I'm just, I like your face. Seems like that's all that's working for me. As a connection on your legs. Legs leads. Yes, your legs. So, how was your trip? Did you have fun on your vacation? Did your weekend away? If it works, that's all that matters, right? And you don't get a burnt taste. That's all that matters. Hey, Graceful Bloom. Welcome to the Vapron David. Some of this juice I'm really worried about trying. I don't know what it tastes like. It tastes like shit. This is how I show my love. Let my soul sail for I'm washed up. Gotta drop down, thank God above that I'm high enough to give the sky a touch. Uh, maybe it's my ADD. I'm on the move like a real estate agency. Uh, century 21, the 21st century, bear the birth of my history that can only be one. Uh, this is how I show my love. Let my soul sail like you say, eco. Listen, you have a store right there. And our brother that works at a bait shop there in Ohio. You should be able to get something else to do from it. It does cost more because you go through juice a lot faster. Okay. Oh, that's not a horrible thing. I know you start talking about working for big job. I mean, that'd be really fucking cool. But it does. There was a lady that came another day. It cracked me up personally. Because she came into the shop and she says, and she's only using a uh, uh, iClear 30. And she comes into the shop and she says, I'm going through more juice. Is that normal? And I'm thinking, well, you do have a lot more wicks, so you're going to be going through a lot more juice. So, yeah. Oh, you need to fix it? The one that probably says girls night out? I don't even have it with you. Yeah, here it is. The one grinning me. Yeah, girls night out. Your angel. No, I got my angel. She gave me this one saying it was for John when he passed away. I am. You, I, something lost in translation. I am what? Fixing it or you are working? Are going to. Yes, see me. It is nice. Well, since all of my tanks suck, and I don't know what's in them, the only one that really, the only one that I really like is Jason's juice joint. It's sinful. So we'll stick with monkey balls, hammered, and butterscotch hammer. No, I have not. And I'm not going to try that stuff either from China. Not, or Japanese.
sorry guys, I am looking at the bait meets and events and who is coming on next. Soon we will be having Kevin and Jonathan on. They're going to be... Hey, Dewey. No, I don't want to try him. I keep with Cotton. I like Cotton. I don't want to try the Japanese stuff. So I'm not going to do that one. The only thing that I do is cotton. I like cotton. The way they do it. Does it have this weird taste? What is... Explain... Well, you could actually wait and explain it later. If you'd like. Hey, Jonathan! How are you? Hello. I'm going to get your screen. There you go. And we got Kevin. Hi guys, it's good to see somebody else besides me. How y'all <laughs> doing? I'm doing PG. How are both of you doing? Uh, I'm good. I'm doing a lot better if I didn't leave my 120 over across the side of the room. I'll be right back. Back, okay. So Kevin, what are All you right. vaping on? Uh, I am on Alpha Sweet Tooth right now. I'm on a 120 bottle. It's my second bottle for the last two weeks. Which one is it's that, a... Jonathan? Sorry, Kevin. No problem. He showed. No. He, I think it was balls. Balls out. Yep. Yep. Balls out by uh by Wacky Vapes. Yeah. It's a. Uh... Or fog fluid that uh that... I need to try. Oh, it's uh it's pretty good. It's a uh, lemon tricks. James said he was gonna send me some, but he never has yet. So. Uh, I'll see what I can do. I got a, I think I have three bottles left. So. Oh, Sounds good. A lot of people a lot of people love that hand check though. You I know? know. I'm thinking hey, I'd like the hand check better than the balls out. I think I have a bottle of hand check laying around. Do ya? Yeah, let's see. There we go. Some hand check. Yum, yum. Now, for those that... Well, first of all, before we get into our the, our Misfits juices, explain who you guys are, or introduce yourselves into the community. Uh, right. I, my, I myself am... Uh, I'm Jonathan. Everybody calls me Johnny or Johnny Be Good. Um... I'm one of the co-founders of the Misfits. Uh, the other founder right now is kind of out taking care of uh, personal issues. He's in the process of getting married and all that other good stuff. So um, I'm taking care and, um, and just uh, watching over the guys. Um, you know, we've been to, we've been around since about January at the beginning of the year, and uh, we've grown pretty, grown pretty fast. Made a pretty big influence so far on the community. Hey, that uh, is and we just really like to kind of like uh, spread our, uh, our our ideology um, across, you know, try to get you know more people involved. And just I don't know. Have a fucking blast. Kind of fun. Yeah, have and a fucking blast. And batteries. No, wait, that's, that's right. not it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you, if, uh, there's some uh, there's some pictures of Kevin out there that you should see. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My name. Uh, I do all the. Uh, Kind of like the IT support for the Dripping Misfits. I take care of the websites, uh, the stream that we do. Um, we do mobile streams while we're at events. So I make sure all those continue to go on. Um, the online presence of the Dripping Misfits, I make sure that we keep that up. Um, now, Kevin, I, I also help out Jonathan with any side projects that he may have. When you guys were doing, when you were at, uh, where was it? Wally was somewhere recently. Were you over there at the event too? Yes, I was. Um, okay. During the events, with when we pack in a hundred plus people into these buildings, it gets really hot for the streamer to sit there. Um, so if I can take breaks during the stream and get someone else on, 
Um, I'll take that opportunity. That street or that day we were at Vapor Joe's. Um, Wally Sparks was with us and he wanted to, to be online. So <laughs> I took that nicely and got up and went oh. to go talk with all the different vendors, all the different people out there. Um, so, yeah, I was so there. Did you have a lot of fun? Was, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so you, it, got, it you went out, to Jonathan? It turned out really well. Um, we had uh, we had a lot of people show up. We had th- uh, Ray Thumper there, Ray Thumper Parker from um, you know Bonnie Boseman's crew. Uh, uh-huh. That dude is just he's so yeah, he's so fucking fine. Uh, I was uh, any any chance I got to uh, I'd photo bomb him or try to pinch his ass. So um, you know it was a good time and. Um, there were thousands and thousands of dollars of giveaways. Uh, the misses ourselves. We made a good chunk of change on on, on raffles and giveaways and things like that. So. Sounds like so much fun. I know yeah. that I checked in while I was at work and I was watching and I was like, "Hey, Molly, how are you doing?" And he just kept talking and I was like, "Hey, Texas Tunes lady, how are you doing?" <laughs> He'd give me a couple shout outs here and there and let me post up the yeah. shop. Site and whatnot. Yeah, we actually. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Dude. All right. One thing that we're working on is working on all these different groups here in Texas. Um, and we're, I'm now taking the focus away from just the Central Texas groups, but trying to reach out to all Texas groups um, and trying to unite all Texas vaping groups. Uh, not under one group, but just unite them. We're all about the community. Every group. Yes. So it states it in the description. We're about the community. Um, we can plan these big giant events instead of being just one group here one group here Mm -hmm. we can plan these massive events and and have a lot of fun and bring that into our communities um i know one thing that we're planning on doing eventually is going to different cities besides sticking here in austin i'm going to dallas going to san antonio hitting houston and starting up events out there um, and helping maybe even other groups learn how to how to make these successful yes, giant yes. events. Sorry, answering questions. Paris asked if we were in Texas. Yes, they're in Texas with me. Unfortunately, they're in B fuck me all the way up front. They're in like yep. way north. They're like six hours ahead of me. And you're Where are at- you like Wichita, Electra? No, I'm in Lake Jackson, Houston. Oh damn! And in Lake Jackson. An hour away. I'm all the way down yonder. Hello, Sean. How are you? What up? Sean is actually from, he's up in Odessa, Texas. Oh, okay. So he's up in your guys' way. I've been through there quite a few times. No, not at all. Sorry, my phone is gonna blow up here. Um, you know, anybody who's uh who's hanging out, just chilling, you know, come check us out. Um, we're uh, you know, sometimes we get pretty funky and fresh, but um, you know, we get down to seriousness when when you got it when you got a legit, you know, question. But we're all about the fun, fucking around. Hell yeah. Uh, we, got, we got some big events actually in the works. I mean, I think we're booked all the way till. Uh, I think September or October, so... Yeah, you. I mean, I'm looking at the calendar, and I know the Misfits, there's one that's going to be going on, uh, what the fucking date is that? July 23rd is something going on, too, with the Misfits. Yeah, that's, a. Uh, that's sort of the local thing. What okay. we're trying to do is, uh, well, if anybody is, anybody is more than welcome to come, and y'all, you are all invited... Uh, Sam Adams and because um, Tim works at uh, a beer distribution place and um, and so we get all these badass deals with beer and so uh, are all the guys know, the in Texas the bar. And... oh thank you <laughs> Paris. hey the girls are pretty hot too yeah <laughs> and uh, they're showing up and um, but no, it's uh, it's gonna be a lot of drinking, a bunch of uh, door prizes, raffles, games, all good, fun kinds of shit. Drunk misfits, we get rowdy. Cause we're misfits. Yeah. So let's talk about the Alpha and Omega Juice Party that's getting ready to happen at Craving Vapor. 
Yeah, uh, that's just actually a week away. I uh, last know. It's coming right up. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, this Saturday. So uh, Sam Rosenberg, the man himself, will be showing up. Um, I've heard there's one. He's going to be giving away 120s nice. of uh, everything in his line. Um, he's going to be giving away complete lines in 30s and 15s. I mean, it's there's going to be um, a lot of I, shit he's going to give away. Are there a lot of people that? How many people usually come? Because I know Craven Vapor has a lot had a lot of get-togethers and meets and whatnot. What are their? Oh, like that. What are their our, like? On our event or any events that happen around here. Um, one of the deals that will happen is everyone will start showing up. Um, progressively, it's that the attendance has been getting more and more. Um, estimates for the Vapor Joes is between 150 to 175 people, last that okay. I heard. Um, Craven Vapor, uh, being how popular that the mm -hmm. Alpha Omega lines are here in Central Texas, um, I'm expecting to see a big turnout, especially with the turnout that Crate and Vapor has on their events uh -huh. uh, and with us. So I'm, I'm guessing we'll be right around the, the 100 to 150 people mark. Yeah, it, at least. Yeah. It's um, it's a it's a big uh, it's we've been playing it for a while. Um, we've been trying to do something with Sam because uh, his lines are just a, just a big success over here. That's awesome. Talking about morphine, okay. Morphine? Yes, I don't know what I like, talking about. Morphine? I like, I like morphine. <laughs> there we go. There's a dripping misfits tag right there, yeah. right? Yeah. In the chat, I like that. <laughs> Got it. Toxic is yeah. really cool. Yeah, and I think the the chicks with wicks will also be. Mm -hmm. And oh, oh that sucks because Jennifer is down here right now. She went to Galveston. I'm like, dude, you fucking passed me. You should have stopped at the store. But I wouldn't have been there anyways. <laughs> I would have liked to have seen Jennifer. I was at the Misfits when you got when guys weren't allowed and it was just the women. So I was back when it first fucking came up. Yeah. 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 It was uh yeah, I don't know. It was a fun game trying to as a guy trying to get in there. Yeah, I know. It was, it, it was. I was. It was kind of disappointing when I got added. I was like, but I. But I really it didn't, was, Yeah. I didn't want to get added. I just. I just wanted to patronize y'all. Right. You know, and just Give a fuck shit. With yeah. Um, yeah. But it's a. It's a good group. It good, is. Good group of people. I don't get to go in there as much. I go in and usually like shit when I start seeing the girls built. I'll start seeing them. And then the guys really don't talk much anymore. It's still the girls doing most of it. Yeah. They, they, they do a lot of good job, too, uh, administrating and keeping all the pricks out of there, too. Yeah, yeah, just like we do. But they just fucking leave on their own, so who cares? Yeah. <laughs> they can't hang with the misfits. So, um, where is... For those that might not know, I mean, I might throw this out on you, but do you know the location of Craving Vapors? Yes, I actually have it listed on the uh, on our website. Uh, and I'll give you the link there. It's actually um, at uh, 183 uh, in is. South Burnett. Yeah, here, I'll actually... Okay, that is so not the one that I have. Here, hold on. Let me copy the address here out of this. And my site doesn't like to do that. Yeah, the one I have is 9070 Research Boulevard Street. That, that, this is actually, that is the address. Oh, okay. It's the yeah, so just plug that into Google okay. Maps and it'll get you there. And if you, you go help? to our website to the event section and just go ahead and click the Alpha Omega, it'll automatically pull up a map. Cool, cool. So what time are you guys going to start? What time do are people usually hanging out there during the day, and then they hang out for the rest of the evening? How you have you, you have the you have the the Craven Crew, um, where you know that, that's their shop, and you know they usually come in earlier and hang out and chill out. Um, the actual event time starts at. I think I have a list of that. At five. five. Yeah, it starts at five. And um, 
it should get rowdy and probably stay open until way late in the night. Yeah. At least whenever, whenever, whenever the misfits have a have a some sort of juice party, we're usually at the at the crib or at the at the the, the sponsor's place until right. three in the morning. Yeah, I remember when we had a uh, we had a rebuild night here one time. And I mean, Lake Jackson is so fucking small. I mean, there's a lot of people vaping down here now. But our population is only like 11,000. So it's not a lot. Right. But then it's like the ones that do come out, they hang out. They hung out all night long. I'm like, oh, I want to go home. I want to go to bed. I've been working all day. It would yeah. be easier. I, mean, I think for the Vapor Joe's me, I set up... Uh, Right around noon, and then I left about. It was like eight o'clock. I finally left. And there's yeah. still people there. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh no 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 that. The after after that it got it got crazy. <laughs> like I don't know if it, if you're in the Misfits, you know what happened. I'm not I I'm not gonna call anybody out, but there was some mods stolen. People mm. punching other people in the face. Oh my god, are you serious? Lost. I didn't. Yeah. I don't think I even saw that shit. Yeah, so there was a. Uh, it, it got kind of crazy, like at two or three, four o'clock in the morning. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's nuts. But then again, misfits. Wait. Well, I think they also they they went out on on the town. Yeah, it was it was a group of people, um, and uh, they're they're all friends, and um, yeah, it was just a, it was just a bad circumstance, bad situation. You know, somebody got too drunk, ran their mouth. Oh, yeah, I remember that part. So. Yeah, the, I, I love the Misfits just because I can go in there and just fucking say whatever I want to say. And it's like, people give me shit or I give people shit but nobody gets really ass hurt and if you do get ass hurt then oh fucking well see you bye I don't yeah, care exactly. and that's the yeah. way a lot of the group is and that's I think it fucking rocks then that's that's the true mentality of the group um, we have had a few people that have abused it and uh, we've talked to them and they chilled out there's a few that we've had to ask leave uh, but um, one or two people, you know, just because they became abusive or harassed or, yeah. you know, take... Keep it all in fun. Yeah, I mean, it's all supposed to be in fun in the game, man. You know, you don't take profile pictures of other people and, you know, make a meme out of their kids say, I wish I had a better dad, you know? Right, like right. No, you don't do that shit. You just have fun and yourself but with respect <laughs> exactly yeah so Kevin where do you work by chance I work at the vapor project and where is that located that's on uh, 628 here in North Austin so you guys where is Austin from Houston is it kind of west or south no, it's northwest northwest see I'm so geographically challenged today. Funny. One day. Yeah, we had an event there um, back in what April? Mm, oh, that was our our meet was in April. Yeah, now that was crazy. We had like 300 people. 400 Holy people crap! That. Really? Yeah. So we had we had like everybody from local vape. Um, we had Lucky Ruckus. We had Ooh. we had 25 juice vend different juice vendors donate. Um, it was it was a crazy day. <laughs> so, are you feeling any better tonight? By the way, Jonathan. I am. I took okay. a I took a couple of more. Um, okay. And so, waiting, you know, waiting for, for this to get over. We're gonna take an oxycotton. So, yeah. you know. So as long as you get to feeling better. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. Yeah. Tell me, do you know much about this juice line, about the Alpha Omega, to those of the people that are watching? Oh, yeah, uh, Kevin, I mean, Kevin works with it on a daily basis, I'm sure he can give you the best description. Okay, Yeah, well, Kevin, they have, uh, 
a lot of stuff is, is fruits. Uh, well, they have a lot of fruits. Um, I like to put it, classify a lot of them like uh, more on the exotic side instead of your typical strawberries, your typical bananas. Mm -hmm. um, they do like papaya plums. Oh, wow. Um, they do. Um, they have a, a couple of savories there. Uh, like I'd be sweet scared. Sweet vanilla graham cracker cookie, which oh, okay. is by far one of my favorites. I'm thinking uh, bacon, and you're saying savory. I'm thinking bacon. I'm like, oh, savory, fuck, please yeah. no. Um, no, um, they're all an 80 VG, 20 PG mix. Um, nice. so they're, they're great on the dripper. Um, I've had a couple people put them through tanks like Aspires. Um, I haven't really seen too many people put them through cardo tanks, but they, they do work on the iClear 16 seal. Um, so all around a, a really good juice. Then Alpha brought out their secondary line called Omega. Um, Omega, they do have banana in that one, but it's a caramel banana. Um, they do have a tobacco, which is vanilla graham cracker cookie mixed with tobacco. Interesting. Um, yeah. And, and I'm getting a lot more people uh, taking that one. It's called the Hinder Shot. They're, they're using that one um, to, to come off the, the big cigarette craze when right. they really just need something something sweet that is yeah. right there for them. Um, if you're on a dripper, really good juice i'm not getting too much gunk up on my coil from the sweeteners on it um that's good yeah this one right here is 24 gauge parallel uh, that's been rolling for two weeks now on oh the same God. cotton so i'll that's probably crazy. change the cotton out coming up soon i do three uh, days four days and i have to change my cotton yeah now paris is asking is it a punch in, are these punch in the face type flavors now, because she's actually in an Aspire tank, and she's just getting ready to start dripping. But how are the flavors? I mean, you said they're a 2080, so they're going to be more muted because of the BG. Yeah. But is there still a good punch in some of the flavors? They're very flavorful. Okay. Very yeah. flavorful. I wouldn't say punch like, like a tart would. Um, they're definitely very, very almost creamy. Uh, they're very, they're just nummy, you know, they're very good, <laughs> the way the samples is put together. Um, I haven't, I haven't, I mean, <clears throat> I haven't found one that I don't like of his line. Mm -hmm. I have, I have others that I prefer over right, his, right. his line, but all of his stuff is great. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, Paris and I, uh, somebody came through yesterday and I was, they, I know they were looking for a punch in the face flavor and I said punch in the face and she's like, she just looked at me like I had four heads and I'm like, yeah, as a new vapor, a lot of people like that punch in the face flavor and I'm like, well, um, let me see here. And it seems like we don't have many punch in the face flavors unless you're dripping. Get some balls out, man. That lemon will. Yeah. So. <laughs> that yeah. punch you out. Um, if you're into the fruit side of everything, um, and you're looking underneath the Alpha Omega line, um, a very popular one right now is the Dude, which is peach pineapple mango. Has a lot of flavor behind it. Um, really good aftertaste behind it. Uh, not overbearing, but strong enough right. that you can definitely tell what you're vaping. I yeah. want dessert. I've yeah. been a dessert bakery time kind of person for ever since I started vaping. I mean, I've started branching out to the like a peach bellini or just a gambit apple. I can do apples, but I can't do I can do banana, I guess. But those are I'm kind working, of the ones. I'm working on this uh, this orange raspberry uh, biscotti or scone. Yeah. Like uh, I do a little DIY myself. And, um, but I think Sweet Tooth would do would do you really well. Interesting. Oh. We'll have to look up all these. Hello, Whiplash. What's up? Hey, bunny, bunny. People are start rolling in. People usually start rolling in a little bit later because we have a lot of meets that are getting ready that have happened on for the day. So people yeah. are starting to show up. And let me tell you, there are a lot of bait meets happening. There are. Yeah. I mean, it's good to see the scene grow. I mean, really, it's. Uh, I've been in it for about two years now. How long and, have you been vaping? Uh, um, so, I was one of those guys that vaped and smoked simultaneously, trying oh. to 
you know, 20, and then a couple weeks later it'd be like 15, and okay. you know, so on and so forth. But I think I've been cigarette free now for a year and two months. Nice. And um, it's uh, it's definitely become hobby. a hobby. Yeah, <laughs> it really has. So yeah, I started back in January of 2013. The day I started vaping, I oh, instantly wow. dropped my cigarettes. Oh really? Yeah. Shit, not me. It took me a week to finally switch over, and I thought I was oh. bad for doing that. No, I was one of the lucky ones that was able to drop it instantly. Three hours of vaping, went to go light up a cigarette and threw it out. Just couldn't do it. Yeah, that's what happened last time I tried a cigarette. No. Like, uh, I actually, uh, I don't know, it was maybe six months ago, and I was at a party, and I'm a lightweight when it comes to drinking, and I had a beer, too. <laughs> and, uh, I already know what I'm going to do. I'm Miss Fitz, let's go drink. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you home. <laughs> Mm. Girl, you ain't even got to try, baby. You just got to <laughs> ask, you know? I mean, uh, and here comes the Misfit Star right here. <laughs> <laughs> Almost I'm like, yeah. way to go. Hey, Alan, happy birthday, by the way, belated. Since your birthday happy was same birthday. day. Fun. His birthday well, was the same day fun. Have you guys both done the ice challenge, by the way? I, I unfortunately, due to my fiber nap, my algae, right. I did not. I How donated I? to my uh, local... Good. And one local shelter. Awesome. And Kevin? Yeah, I, got, I got called out, but man, I really don't want to get the dreads with, so I paid up to ASPCA. And man, I even tried to donate a cat, but they didn't want the cat, so I was a little upset. With <laughs> You're the cat. We got the cat, dude. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, found, I found a new place for the cat. That's but good. It, it takes uh, about 12 hours for the dreads to dry, so I can't really do that. Yeah, it would take a while. Oh, yeah. Well, that's awesome. You guys been vaping for so long. We have a, and it seems like a lot of people started when I did, just who's in the community that I talk to, and it's like everybody starts having vape bursaries, and it's like I'm getting ready to hit my one or my two year. So it's like all these people are starting to follow, and of course, you guys, you know, some of you guys are younger, some of you are older, and you're vaping, but it's just amazing at how this community fucking rocks and vaping and just in general I mean the community the commodity the the knowing the people I mean I'd say it every week how many fucking smokers sit around and let's they don't talk they can't talk about flavors they can't talk about shit except for this or this yep. so all the mods to talk about flavors to talk about what Coils to build as cotton, silica, oh. hemp, blah blah. There's a reason. There's a reason why they call me a Johnny's House of Mods, and I'll show you why. That is so funny. Good grief. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. See, I'm more of a ju juice whore than anything. I'm a I'm a I'm a collector by far. Uh, lately I've become more of a connoisseur, like, um, you know, so I'm, I'm kind of holding off now. I see things coming out, I'm like, eh, is that really better than my Lancelot, or, right. eh, is that really better than, you know, so, you know, like, I just got me a King, a King Cloud Custom, which is like the BBM or MCR, you know, really nice switch, and, and just all hand-turned, and, uh, you know, I love, I love mods. And how about you, Kevin? Are you a mod whore? Um, I wouldn't say I'm a mod whore quite as big as Johnny's House of Mods over there. Uh, <laughs> he's a mod. He's a mod player. Oh, I got, I got, I got some mods sitting like just right here next to me. These are my dailies for the most part. You guys part. need a stand. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm starting to go after serial numbers. So, oh yeah. Um, and then I'm starting to look at some some more specialty things like uh, Damascus steel mods. I'm starting to look at like uh, the flare, and um, I want to start collecting a little bit higher end than what I've been going after. Right. Uh, more on the rarity side than anything else. Uh, there's a couple more mods that I round out this collection with, uh, mm -hmm. and then I'll start looking for other specialty items. Um, like the Vapor Giant from, uh, Austria. Um, uh, -huh. uh, let's see, I'm looking for another V-Rex, but in stainless, which is the 26650, uh, pretty much the 26650 oh, yeah. vanilla, 
Um, I have the brass one, number 69. I have the copper, number 69. 666. And I am looking for the stainless and a really cool number again, and then that will <laughs> round up those. Um, let's see. I need to find my uh, changeling brass sleeve for the Pegas or Pegasus brass sleeve you know, for the changeling. Um, and I'll round up my, my collection from Olympus Creation so far. Nice. So, uh, uh, I forgot what I was going to... I was going to ask you, Jonathan. I forgot. Is there one specific device that you would like that you don't have? Probably, um... A must-have that you would die and you would just love to have in your collection. Uh, a stainless steel or uh, MCR first vi uh, first ver version or an 18650 uh, brushed copper uh, Anatolian. Ooh. I think would have yeah, I have I have a I have a 350 for myself, but um, yeah, I'd like an 18650 too. Now you, Kevin, is there just if you could only have. And no, money was no object. What one device would you have to have? I forgot the name of it, and maybe Jonathan has heard of it before. Um, and I found it a while back. It was a Damascus Steel 2 mod out of Europe. Um, 18650 had a really nice fit, a typical Damascus steel uh -huh. look to it, absolutely beautiful, smooth button look to it, um, it, it was a little over grand. Oh my god. Point. Well, it's because it was made out of real Damascus, it's right. not made out of that faux Damascus. Faux so real yeah. Damascus, um, for you those who don't know, uh, is a special type of steel that comes out of Israel, and when they forge it, um, there's these layers of carbon that kind of come up in it mm -hmm. and uh, ends up looking like a wood grain. Ooh. So, uh, it's a really, really cool looking metal, especially when you make a, a mod out of it. It just catches everybody's eye. That sounds gorgeous. Yeah, yeah it's... it. I'm friends with the guy that makes those that what Kevin's about talking about on Facebook. Nice. So I'm trying to find out what the name is. There we go. I got these guys working in the background. <laughs> yeah, real Damascus still. I just found one, and I'll kind of show you. I don't know if that's so or if that's real. Is that it right there? No, that's the Addy. Yeah, the Damascus still mods are absolutely beautiful, and I just searched yeah. and I found someone making a Damascus still uh, drip tip, which would mm. be pretty cool. If I can't get my hands on something like that, that'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. all I want left is a 2650. That's all I want left in my collection. Yeah. And my ghost monitor to fucking work. And which which uh, 26650 are you looking for? I don't know. I don't know. Well, what do you want? What kind of material do you want it out of? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I just want a. Uh, Never mind. Well, That's gonna start sounding kinky, and I know Paris and my viewers like to uh, read into my twenty six six fifty and girth. Oh, who doesn't like something fat in their hand? You know, I mean. Uh, exactly. Yeah, I carry so I carry my twenty six six fifty, and every time somebody says, "Damn, that's big," I always like to say, "Well, thank you." That's not the first <laughs> time I've heard that. <laughs> I just can't help it because I remember the first time I was playing with it. God damn, that sounded so wrong. And it, in your hand, and you're trying to hold it the right way, and, and it's so funny when people actually get into, um, what do I have, my precise or my um, my ghost modder, and they hit it, and they're like, how do they hit it? And the girls have to hit the button with it, their index finger. Being... They do, yeah, and I'm like, no, dude, just use your pinky or your ring finger and just push on it. Actually, I use my middle finger a lot. So, but I just... When I finally got that 26650 feeling in my hand, it was like, wow, this is big, this is awesome, I like it. And then I'm going to start going to Addies, different types of Addies. Because uh -huh. my crown, I also melted the insulator on my crown, 
So there goes 150 down the fucking tube. So now it's a matter of trying to find something that I really want and will stand up to my point one, point two. My Mephisto, APO, and Zeniths have been holding up to uh, to the point ones. Well, the sad thing, the only thing so far I've broken uh, as far as uh, RDA is. I go Patriot at point zero four. I, I, of course, I broke that one. I melted in later. Yeah. Well, guys, I hate to cut it short, but I need to get our next guest in. I was having so much fun talking to y'all. Well, no problem. Real quick, can we talk about the August thing? Yes, talk about whatever you would like. Okay, so real quick, uh, uh, August 26th, I do believe, uh, anybody who can come out, please do, at the Cedar Park Memorial Event Center or uh, Park Center. Uh, we're going to have a giant barbecue, all Central Texas vapor, like the entire vaping community, all Facebook groups, everybody from Colleen, San Antonio, there's going to be people from Dallas, people from Houston coming in. Nice. So if you can make it out there, uh, we got RVs, party buses, all that kind of shit, just drove the people coming out. If you can come, there's going to be free food, free beer, just bring the vape and bring your fun. I know, I would love to, and we'll see about that, how it happens. I tell you, the boss doesn't like me leaving too much. But anyways, <laughs> thanks Kevin and thanks Jonathan, and I guys hope that you guys have a lot of fucking fun this weekend, as well as during the week too, when you have your the other one, and I'll see you guys hanging out in the Misfits. Oh, of course. Right. Well, I'll, I'll be there to harass you. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> Thanks so much. Bye, right, everybody. Have a good night. Bye, guys. Night. I'm one. Y'all have a good night. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. Bye, Jonathan. Hang up, Jonathan. He forgot to hang up. Oh, Lord. There he goes. And next. Hurry! I ran a little late. I'm so sorry. He hung up. Don't worry. Thank you, Kevin. It was great to have the guys. I love my misfits. And now we have Jay. And I hope you take <laughs> Jay over. Hey, Auntie! You know, I've been sitting here for 20 minutes going, I'm so mm -hmm. sorry! <laughs> no, I know, and it doesn't fucking help, though, either, that I have some guests that decided they just aren't going to fucking show up. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I know, it works both ways. Yes, I know. I understand. <laughs> Anyways, How you been, John? I've been doing great. How have you been? Busy. Cold. Busy. Are you? Have you been cold lately? <laughs> <laughs> there were a few spots this week where I was I was feeling a little chilly. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, what you been up to? Uh, let's see. I've been um, I visiting a lot of local vape shops that have been opening, and, and uh, some tobacco shops that just started uh, selling uh, e-liquid and, really? and different vaping products. Yep, some good, some bad. Yeah. But we don't have to go into details. Okay, we don't have to. No, we can talk about whatever you would like. So we'll actually talk about what's going on that's getting ready to happen in the New England area. Yeah, we uh, New England vapors, typically we have a, uh, at least one meet a month, um, and this month we're looking at next week at Vapor Venue in Plainville, Connecticut. Uh, we're going to have a meet set up by Kevin, Kevin Bowers from uh, VP Live fame. Um, that's going to run from 1 o'clock till whenever. Uh, it's, at, it's at his vape shop, so it is a BYOB type of event. Uh, vendors are welcome. Um, however, uh, please be respectful and don't actually sell stuff in, yeah. in a you know, sell your own stuff in a vape shop. <laughs> kind of tacky. Yeah, but I was gonna say it's kind of tacky. <laughs> <laughs> That's like when we have vape bash, and then it's like you got the vendors on the side, you got the vendors that pay, right. and then you've got the other ones that kind of say, "Hey, can I borrow your table for a bit?" Right. And I mean, it's great because people do allow that, but of course, you know, we need to at least, hey, then some right. well, of the Well, what money. I did at, at VCC is I actually sponsored, I, I was a silver sponsor for the event, mm -hmm. um, and I didn't need the table, so I, I, I sold, uh, you know, the Your table, table to Mad right. Vapes at a discount. Right. That way, I was able, to, you know, me and a couple of my friends were able to go around and kind of give away free, free crap. Right. Um, but yeah, we actually supported the event. So, how many people do you usually have at the vape meets in New England? 
Uh, New England, it's... There are a lot of uh, veterans uh, in the New England Vapors group. Uh, we tend to run anywhere from like 30 or 20 to 60. Oh, really? On, yeah, depending on, on, you know, the time of year. Um, typically, okay. fall is really, is really hip and happening for us. Uh, summer, people like to stay inside and deal with their... <laughs> um, but yeah, they're usually not big, huge parties, typically. Um, the after party at the VCC, uh, a after VCC, uh -huh. uh, there was there was an after party at a bar slash vape shop. That was booming. We probably had a good two, three hundred people there. Holy moly, my Yeah, so, so that was a decent one. Uh, but typically, yeah, they're, they're a little on the cozy side. Um, but this one being in Connecticut and uh, Kevin being the founder of Vapor's Place, we'll right. get a lot of New Yorkers up. So we'll have we'll have you know Russ and, and Dino and a bunch of those folks right. Cisco from Avid Vapor. So is Smokey gonna be there? I don't know. I wonder. I don't, I don't know that. Uh, I was gonna Smokey see if those or, guys or Vapor Joe tonight. or any of those guys will be there. I was gonna have them on the show because I know they've got a couple things to get up to get ready happening. Like Vapor Vortex is having something happening and some other. I mean, yeah. the, you should. I don't know if you've had a chance. When I know you probably haven't. Is vape networking? The calendar is just booming every day. I'm putting four or five meets up. It is so crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 really blown up finally in New England. Uh, we've been waiting for this to happen. Um, but it's really just over the last six months to a year that uh, the meets have really started booming and, you know, the vape shops are really booming. The community really started, uh, you booming know, it's just e everywhere you look now, you know. Uh, and a lot of that we have to credit to the, you know, the, kind of the 20-somethings, the, 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 the cloud chaser crowd. Mm. Like, they've really exploded up here over the last year. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're just starting to around here. I mean... We were getting a lot of people that were just starting out, but now people are past that and they're going boom straight into cloud chasing and dripping yep. and it is so crazy. Yeah, it is, it is. And, and I have to be honest, it does it does put off a lot of the old old fuddy duddies in the mm -hmm. NEP group. It does. It does. It's you know, it's 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 just a it's a different way of vaping, you know, it's it's um you know, sport vaping. <laughs> <laughs> and we're still trying to kind of get our head around it <laughs> there's so much and that's what I was saying like with the other guests is that it's just so crazy the amount of different ways of vaping now I mean yeah. and coil buildings and clouds and just flavors and it's just crazy the amount of stuff that one product has bloomed into in the community right, right cigarettes are either you got this flavor or this flavor and mm. that's it yeah, and and it's funny. I mean, I, don't, I obviously I don't knock them because they, in a in a big way, in a very big way, they've kind of made vaping cool and trendy. So if we can attract twenty something smokers to vaping, because, then who cares how trendy it is? Because well, it does so, get some smokers. people some people do. Some people do. We certainly don't. We've been around a while, but yeah, some people do. And if it attracts more smokers, all the better. Exactly, and that's the way that I look at it. And personally, I, I don't I don't know. I guess I'm in my own little fantasy world of just everything, pooping unicorns and just happy in a hunky dory. Mm. And it's uh, who cares as long as it gets the people off the cigarettes. Right. That's all that matters. So yeah, it's so it weird to see you so calm and relaxed. <laughs> Why I'm is not, that? Because I'm not used to you being so calm and relaxed and normal. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I do, I, I do the Friday night show, and that's and that's you know obviously you know Fun. we're all about blowing off steam, right? No pun intended. Ah. But, uh, Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do have a serious side. I have I have a, a sober side. <laughs> oh damn! No. I, I like both sides of you. I love you to death. Oh, I just wish I could get a chance to see a lot of the. I mean, I get to go see like the freak show, or I get to stop in and say hey to Celtic. 
And then I have to watch Mod Envy. Usually I watch that on a replay. But trying to get to so many shows because I have so many people that I talk to in the vegan community that I consider friends like you and so on and so forth. That it's just, huh. I would like, yeah. I, I need more than me. <laughs> yeah, it, it, just just being a member of the community can can definitely absorb a lot of time. Yeah. And did you ever think that you would get this involved when you first started vaping? No. I mean, like a lot of folks who were in it early, um, especially vendors, they, you know, a lot of us fought it tooth and nail because we really didn't think it was going to last. Right. You know, so we didn't want to... Um, you know, invest too much into it, you know, um, but it just kind of organically exploded and, and we all kind of got drawn in with it. Um, you do. You know, from my perspective, both from the, the community aspects, the shows, uh, the networks and all that, where, you know, four years ago, we only had two networks. <laughs> you know, now they're popping up just as fast as, as Juice Family. Vendors, I was going to say, it's yeah. vendors in general. Yeah, it's, vendors and networks, there's a new one every week, so... It's like with, uh, uh, I was thinking about that with Starbucks. You can see around here, Starbucks on every fucking corner. And one's usually here, and one's right here across the street from it. And it's like, really? Right. But that's the way it's becoming, even with the vape shops. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. But I think um, it's... But it's cool. it, it, it is. It, it's good. Uh, and le again, you know, in New England, it was, it was a desert here. I mean, there was a core group of us. And we we wouldn't get any new members for you know months on end. Really? But now it's now it's just exploding, and and there's a new vape shop every every week up here. Okay, um, so you know. it is blooming as well with the uh, vape shops then there as well. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. And we just had uh, Jamie from Vapor's Place. He just opened mm -hmm. a shop in Watertown, uh, New England Vapors or New England. What does he call it? New England something. I don't know. It's been a while since I heard them talk about it. When I think the last time I heard them talk about it was then when they were doing the vape team. Right. And yeah, I was, it was like New England them. Vape Supply or something along those lines. I, I still have yet to visit him, but uh, he, he was at VCC though. Right. Yeah. So do you plan on attending any meets here coming up besides the local meet, like a big um, one? I'm not. Uh, it, there's still a chance I might go to VaporCon, um, but typically, because I have a family and basically two full-time jobs on top <laughs> of that, um, I try to keep it down to one national meet a year. Really? Um, yeah, and so I've kind of set up like a driving radius. Like oh. if it's within If it's within so many hours driving, you then know, I'll consider it. going. Um, VaporCon is right on the cusp of that. Uh, <laughs> In Pennsylvania, um, so we'll, I'll, I'll just kind of have to play it by ear, but it's not looking good. Yeah. Looks like VCC, VCC was it for me, uh, but, we'll, but we'll see. I know, doesn't are, are it you, suck though? Because you, that you don't get to go, and you're like, you really want to go to all these events, and you just can't because you have right, to work, there's, there's, you have a life. There's, yeah, there's no way. There's no way. Yeah, the only one I'm going to attend, and because of my goddess sisters, there were there's. 13 of us, so obviously AZ, Vitesse, um, mm -hmm. Willows, Turtle, I mean, that's Miss Emma, Lisa, um, the, we go to Bash, so Bash yeah. is the number one thing that we'll always be to, that's where we first met, and that's where we're always going to end up being, was a big Bash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was, I was, I was, folks were trying to drag me to Bash this year, um, but yeah, that, that just wasn't going to happen. Yeah. Um, but are are you planning on going to con? No. Nope. No. Nope. No, you're not. No. Nope. Okay. They and well, I, Dimitri. I wouldn't miss you either way then. <laughs> Dimitri was trying to get me because he's going to be coming down to the one that's going to happen here at uh oh what the hell in San Antonio for Bait Blast 2.0. Yeah. And he gives me shit because it's right here in Texas and it's only three hours away. Yeah, but then you really you've got the hell. I I don't. I mean, I've got to work. Plain and mm -hmm. simple. I have oh, okay. to work now. So I. I mean, after my husband passed away, it's a matter of I have to focus. If not, right. I fail. And yeah. no. So yeah, you've got to you've got to pay rent. Yeah, priorities yeah. got to stay straight. Mm -hmm. 
So, like I said, but bash will always be my thing. And yeah. I would like to, I don't know, there's just so many I would like to, so it's kind of hard to say what one. And having so many national meets now, I mean, they're almost mm -hmm. like vape shops and, and all the other stuff. Um, you know, you've basically got your pick of the litter. Every two weeks, there's a new <laughs> national meet. Yeah, and speaking of which, and I will be attending this one. We're having the Bait Summit. Uh, the guys that put on, I think, ECC, mm -hmm. they're going, or no, the Bait Summit that was there in Nevada, I guess. I'm not too sure. I should know all this shit, being I keep track of all the Bait Meets and Events. But it's somewhere on the West Coast, anyways. And yeah. they're, so they're, they, they renamed it, is what happened. So they named it the Bait Summit. And then they, so now they're going to have the Bait Summit in Houston. So I will definitely be attending that. That's only an hour away. So that's a hop, skip, and a jump. I'm going to okay. go visit that one. But, anyways, if you mm. want to hang out with me, you can. It's 901, which is 10. And Watch should be coming up, but I have no fucking idea if he's around or not. <laughs> so what else? I can I can on? hang out. Okay. So what else has been going on with you? I mean, um, how is else? how are things? Are you? Oh, what? Okay. For those of you that don't know, tell us about your show. My, oh, my show, the awesome show. Sure. Um, actually, Man of KV, uh, my co-host, just just entered the room. Um, <laughs> we do a show every every uh, Friday night at eight. And it's really, um, it's really about blowing off steam from, you know, we'll usually do about 20% content towards the beginning of the show and then we just go nuts. Like we do skits, we do, you know, I set up, I set up videos during the week and all sorts of crap. Um, it, yeah, but it's, it's really only tangentially related to vaping. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but no, we have a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of the folks in the room always tend to have a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, yeah, okay. that's about it. And what? And? Uh, yeah, never mind. What? <laughs> I'll just sit here like pretty. <laughs> no, Lisa. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> so uh, let's see. Um, where do you work? I'll play where do I work? Question now. Well, I, I own Hingham Hill E Liquid. Um, so that's one job. Um, uh, my day job, tip I'm a business intelligence analyst by day, typically. Um, awesome. But I actually got laid off a few weeks ago. So well, that I'm, sucks ass. Well, it happens. It happens. Uh -huh. in, in IT. But I do. Li I live in in Massachusetts, where IT jobs are plentiful. So I'm oh, really, really? All, yeah. I'm not all that worried. Okay. Um, well, that's good. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's what I do by day. Okay, I've wondered what kind of stuff you did besides your juices and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's it. So, like I said, I've been, you know, while I'm not looking for a job, I'm uh, I'm driving around to the, all the different vape shops in the area. And now, uh, do, how many do you have in the area? Do you know? How many vape shops? Yeah. Um, it's hard to know specifically. A lot of them are in kind of central Worcester, uh, like Worcester and, and Western Mass. Uh -huh. um, there's one that just opened a couple of months ago, like 20 minutes down the street. So I, I, uh, that's uh, Worcester City Vapors. Uh -huh. um, that's a great little shop. I'm, I'm really digging what those guys are up to. Um, mm -hmm. And then I hang out uh, up at Lineage Vaping in uh, or Lineage Vapors in Nashua, New Hampshire. Uh, Kyle, I kind of helped him set up his shop. Cool. Uh -huh. A few months ago, he started just this year. Um, yeah, yeah, now, and a couple, couple other random ones. We're having name. We're playing twenty questions here. If you haven't gathered, <laughs> how long have you been vaping for? Uh, coming up on four years. Oh my God, really? Yeah, yeah, coming up on four years, and and I've had the business for probably about three and a half, maybe a little. Oh a little wow. Less. Yeah. That's crazy. What is your favorite kind of bait? Uh, like, like I'm bakery dessert. Are you more fruity? Um, uh, I, I wouldn't call it bakery dessert. More, um, like cereal types, because that Ooh. was kind of my claim to fame early on. Was uh -huh. the cereal types. Um, stuff like that. I like a lot of uh, like contrasting flavor notes in my juices. Explain. I don't get um, contrast. 
Well, like, all right, take my my crunch berries. You've okay. got berries, you've right. got berries, and then you've got like grains. Okay. You know, that kind of thing. I guess so. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I want to get out of that bakery dessert area and go to fruits, but because mm-hmm. we have some that are like fruity. I mean, they're all fruits, and yeah. I just can't get into that. I still have to have that undertone of something of the cereal yeah. or bready or just something else yeah, there. I'm, I'm the same way. I, I, I did a, I, I made a lot of uh, fruity straight fruity babes early on the first year maybe. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, I, I moved on pretty quickly to doing uh, you know a lot of different you know more nuanced right. kind of juices. Well, I think I'll be the one thing that I'll always be is the butterscotch hammer. From Gorgeous. Butterscotch Dishes. Hammer. It is, uh, it's mm. like, you know, not Werther's, but more, well, it's, it, it's in between the Werther's and the yellow discs of Butterscotch. Mm-hmm. It still has mm-hmm. that creamy taste, right. but it, it's a very good and sweet Butterscotch. And that's, uh, I'll always love that one. And let me cool. tell you, it's impossible to fucking duplicate. Yes, Lance, I have tried to duplicate it, and it just doesn't work. So I've given up hope. So I guess we're going to run. We're a little over already at 9.06, but I guess Watch is not going to be joining us tonight. I Let me think. I'm counting. I'm actually counting because I am central time. So mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of the times we got. I want. I go from seven to nine. Yes, instead of eight to ten. So, anyways, uh, if Watch shows up, he shows up. If he doesn't, oh, he's on vacation, guys. That's right. I remember now. Whoopsie. <laughs> so, anyways, thank you, Jay, for hanging out with me. Thank you, Anytime. everybody in the room, for hanging out and. I'm sorry, that's the end of the show. Y'all have a great night, and we will talk to you guys soon once I can hang up this damn thing.